Greetings from New Jersey. We welcome you. Sky to shore, sun to snow, winning cities to historic towns. Let the games begin. Plan your vacation at visitnj.org slash IE. Welcome to episode two of Eight Fins America. Today, we're in Columbus, Ohio. In this program, I'll be diving into the vibrant culture and thriving food scene of the state's capital before I continue my journey south to the city of Cincinnati. Columbus is Ohio's capital city and was voted one of the friendliest cities in the US. This place is awesome and the real America. Checking into the Junta Boutique Hotel boded well. Restaurants, check. Rooftop bar, check. Kaya Kaya, wow. This just shows that there's that little bit extra on offer everywhere you go here in Columbus. It's even a leading smart city in the US, second only to New York City. The hotel is a stone's throw away from the Sea Otto Mile, downtown Columbus's riverfront destination, voted top 10 best riverside walk in the United States by USA Today. We met up with Michelle Wilson of Experience Columbus to show us around. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Yes, we love it here. It's, it's very uh, peaceful and beautiful and green right now. Michelle, I mean, how many days would you suggest you'd come for? I can see it's very family friendly, but again, you have, I mean, you have great restaurant, the food offerings are super, culture wise, but yes. what would you recommend for like an ideal sort of five to seven days maybe? You know, we, we really market ourselves as having a sweet spot of, of a long weekend, a three to four day long weekend. Mm. We have some amazing attractions, very family friendly. We're a foodie city. We have a couple of James Beard nominees. Uh, and of course, here. James Beard for people in in Ireland and in Europe would be you Michelin want to be a, star. That's right, almost Michelin kind of star yeah. kind of yes, yeah. uh, accolade. Get a little bit of education, but also just be in this amazing city that uh, you know some people don't really know all that we have to offer. For my first time here, you get a wonderful feeling here. There's a lovely energy. People are so friendly, and again, I guess value for money hits you as well. You Absolutely, know? really yes. good. Yeah, yes, it's yes. really nice. I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. Well, I'm glad to hear that. So one of the attractions that I really want you to experience, Ed, is our COSI, our Center of Science and Industry. Mm, nice. And yes, it has some amazing exhibits. You'll love it. It's very family friendly. Uh, something for everybody, but something I really want you to try is a unicycle ride. Wow. It's, it's suspended in the air. Are you up for that? Suspended in the air, yeah. Um, um, I'm not sure, but I mean, I might give it a try. I, I think you'll do great. <laughs> I have all the confidence in you. COSI is the center of science and industry museum here in Columbus. It's colossal and packed with activities and exhibitions for all ages. You would need 500 pounds of force from the top to be able to do a full flip. So I've always wanted to ride the high wire, so I've had to come to Columbus, Ohio to do it. Now I've been told how it works, slightly terrified, but apparently I'd have to be over 500 pounds for anything bad to happen. All right, I'm gonna get you I am sweating in. like a trooper. <laughs> you have a couple seat belts here. I'm absolutely terrified. Oh dear God. Okay, and okay. if I'm afraid of heights? And if you're afraid of heights, if you get stuck, stop pedaling, we're just gonna come get you with a big hook, kind of similar to this hook. And you're gonna pedal backwards in three, two, one, off you go, perfect. Wow. You're doing great. This is Keep fabulous. Past the halfway point. Keep great. The this is super. Wow, I mean, I can't think of anything better than this. Riding the high wire. Wow. Wow. Okay. Ed Finn, and it's like Duffy Circus. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> And he's back, uh, an expert. Amazing. Yay. You're a professional now, you're locked in, you're not going anywhere now. Okay? Great. Lauren. Okay, you're so welcome. Okay, I hope I never see you again. Oh, well you're a professional. <laughs> From the tightrope to time travel, I was now off to the 1800s. But this exhibit, is called Progress, and it takes us from 1898 to 1962. 
Yeah, it's amazing to see the way they've recreated it. It's lovely, isn't it's it? It's really lovely. Yeah. We barely scratched the surface. From a vast ocean world to lots of interactive exhibits, there is so much to do and see here. It's really a fantastic family day out. To recover from my unicycling and feats of strength, it was time for something relaxing. Oysters and caviar, Somalian mango chicken, and the best dumplings in town. It was off to North Market, home to dozens of local independent vendors. Rick, great how are you? Yeah, great how are you? you. Welcome. I'm so I'm happy great. to have you. Yeah, I'm always, I'm always happy in a market. This is a representation of the people who also live in Columbus. We have a great Somali population and Tibetan and Nepalese. So you sort of can see what Columbus really is when you come to this place. Yeah, fantastic. So the best restaurants in town buy their seafood from these folks wholesale. This is A-plus grade seafood. And so then this was their first retail establishment. What do we have yes. here? Yeah, a little bit of Washington. You've got some Prince Edward Island, some New Brunswick. Oh, and they even brought uh, a little caviar for us. Wow. Oh, my God. You can smell the freshness. Exactly. Cheers, Cheers yes. to you, my yes. friend. Yes, Columbus. Yes, yes, Columbus. <laughs> All we're missing is the uh, oh my god mimosas. Yes, good. It's the ocean in a shell. It is, and the freshest wow. thing you're going to get in this town. Beautiful. Yes. Mm. Well, the market's been here since 1876. And you started it? Did and you I open started. It? I yeah, did as well. well. Yes. You know what? It's the oysters. It is. I've lost <laughs> a few pairs during the way. 1876. Uh, 1876. We've been on this property. Wow. Uh, we also opened another one about 20 miles north of here, uh, about three years ago. Uh, we're a nonprofit organization, like I said, 35 local independent businesses. That's our mission. The nonprofit mission is to incubate and support local independent business. And this place is really a reflection of all the folks that, that live in Columbus. Uh, so when you come from out of town, you come here, you really get a feel for what this town's about. All right, we're off to our next adventure, Brilliant. which is Somalian cuisine. And these folks, the Hassans, are the proprietors of this business. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna create our adventure here, as I said to him, and, and uh, I made some of my recommendations, but you know my usual move. You know, I love chicken, chicken. Um, a bit of mango chicken would be lovely, I think. Yeah, the Fantastic, so. it's brilliant. Okay, right, super. Thanks a million. Cheers. All right, so here we are. We're at Momogar. So uh, these folks do Tibetan Nepalese dumplings. Wow. And uh, we're gonna start with. Well, you see, we have Kathmandu style chicken. That's what we're gonna start with but all sorts of versions up there. Momo, of course, is the... A dumpling. Yeah, that's a dumpling. A, that's the word Very for close, dumpling. Yeah. And we also have a pretty large population of Nepalese and Tibetan folks in Columbus now, so another great representation of uh, the folks that actually live in Columbus. Uh, and they've been here a couple of years. They're world famous. And like I said, we'll start with the uh, Kathmandu-style okay. chicken. Brilliant. Okay, all let's right. have a go. Wow, it's gorgeous. It's like the, the best street food ever. Fantastic. Ah, fantastic. Thank you so much. How do you say thank you in Nepalese? There you go. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> Listen, I'm just wondering, I mean, do you think they'll want a vertical pick of me as well? Uh, will you it know be, what? I think will I be uh, able to get, you, I mean... If you, I, maybe, a, maybe an 8 by 10 headshot. <laughs> we'll hang it somewhere up here. Best dumplings in town. That's the truth. Yeah, Not only yeah. me, but food and wine agrees. Amazing. The best dumplings in town. Rick, that was amazing. I mean, thank you. It's a food lover's paradise here. I mean, honest to God. From, and you kind of cross, like, you cross nations, you cross continents. It's you, amazing. You have several, we, we have just about every continent represented in this place, yes. Yeah. Over 20 some countries. You know, you want to kind of, you know, pace yourself, I guess. You but do, no question. Come here, like, don't eat for two days. To, Take a and, couple victory laps <laughs> and, and, and do this. Amazing, amazing. Yes. Yeah. Incredible. That's my go to. The, the Hassan family, everybody you met mm. over there, those folks are all related and that's their, that this is yeah. their livelihood. And same with Funso and Bray Mode, this is their, and that's what we do, These, this is people's livelihoods. Thanks a million for, my gosh, it's, yeah. been, it's been a lot everybody of fun. Everybody has we'll to come our, here. No, I yeah. really Thanks appreciate you coming, man, and please come Brilliant. see us. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thirty-five different food choices, all under one roof. Oysters, dumplings, mango chicken from Somalia. Amazing. 
I must say, this is a real must stop on your tour when you're here. Come very hungry and leave very full. Next up was time for a party bike experience. Wow, lovely trolley. God, couldn't have ordered up a better day. <laughs> right? Amazing. This is a fun way to see this neighbourhood and not a sign of road rage as you trundle happily by. It really is America's friendliest city. This is currently TripAdvisor's top rated tour here. Tickets start from $25 and you can bring your own drinks. And it dropped me off just in time. Hi Betsy, how are you? I'm well, Ed. How are you? Great, uh, lovely to meet you. It's lovely to meet you and welcome to the Short North Arts District here in Columbus, Ohio. You have clothes shop, vintage boutiques, jewelry. So you've got a bit of everything here, do you? We have something for everyone here in the Short North Arts District from shopping and retail to amazing places to eat and drink. Uh, to incredible local art galleries that represent thousands of artists worldwide, um, to amazing places to see live music. Well, Ed, I have a wonderful place that I would like to bring you to next. Well, Super. welcome to Autumn Ceramics, the newest oh, gallery wow. in oh. the Short North Arts District. And it is owned by an artist. And his name is Josh Schottenstein. Uh, he is um, a talented local artist who has expanded opportunities for other local artists to not only showcase their work, but make their work here in his gallery slash studio. I mean, that is just beautiful stuff. So unique. I know. And I mean, that is very affordable for Absol us anyway. <laughs> Honestly, it really is. And there really are a variety really. of price points for yeah. um, original artwork here in the short North These Arts are beautiful. District. That was amazing. It is I could buy everything in that shop, you, in that you gallery. You absolutely are allowed to buy everything <laughs> yeah, in that you. shopping thank gallery. <laughs> well, uh, we're heading right this way into Ginger Rabbits, and hopefully wow. there'll be some fun things taking place inside for us. Bellissimo. This is a true gem in Columbus. This is Ginger Rabbits. Um, it is one of the newer jazz clubs that is certainly in our community, but in the entire city. This is this yeah. is absolutely stunning. Wow. Yeah, no, I it's love great. It. And of course, you know, we love jazz in Ireland. We, yes. even, we even have a jazz festival in Cork. Oh, good. Yeah. Uh, that's so <laughs> this good. Is stunning. Well, we have a number of music festivals here in Columbus. And so on the stage is George Berry. He's a regular among all of them. Um, plays in numerous bands, also has his own projects. <laughs> God, this is like this is like these little hidden jewels of America, isn't it? Got, Columbus. Yes, Columbus. Oh my goodness. Cool. Great. Well, ladies first. Please. And carrot, like good for the mm -hmm. eyes. That is amazing. It tastes really healthy. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's all the carrot and ginger. It's all the carrot and ginger. Great for That's the blood good. circulation, That's PJ. Right. Wow. All right, we have a little lobster roll, so we went ahead and uh, married the the main lobster roll with uh, a Chesapeake uh, like crab cake, and then some house made hummus, a little bit of piquillo peppers, and some pizzas. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, listen, thanks for the most amazing day. Like, you ticked all my boxes today. <laughs> Thank you. This place has, like, everything that I like. This place is packed at night, and you need to book your seats to make sure you get a spot. The whole city is booming with trendy places to eat and drink. These are organic local businesses, homegrown with passionate, friendly people. And so, it was time to move from a jazzy melody in Ginger Rabbit to Middle West Spirits for bourbon tasting and more tasty bites to eat. Josh. Ed. Hello. How are you, my friend? Wow. I've been looking forward to this all day. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to see you. Great to be here. Service. I've heard so many good things about your place. Now, I know you're very well known here for very good vodka and very good bourbon. So before that though, I felt I would love a little taste of, of something. Of course. This is our vodka that we started with back in 2009. Ohio is the original name for Ohio. It means okay. beautiful river. Uh, so we get all of our grain from Ohio. So we wanted to really pay homage to where uh, our agric agriculture comes from. And so this is a character vodka. So it's a vodka that's unfiltered. So it's going to have flavor. It's going to taste like the grain of origin, which is that soft red winter wheat. Wow, that is really nice. Thank you. Um, there's a lot of flavor there. Yep. Sort of a sweetness. Yep. Yeah, Thank you. Wow, I love that. Thank you very much. Yeah, so uh, all that flavor is the grain. 
Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Soft wheat. Now, you know we're famous in Ireland for whiskey. Yes. Um, now, a lot of people in Ireland don't understand what bourbon is. Uh, yeah. Bourbon is our American whiskey. 51% corn, um, and there's lots of stipulations around production. So this is going to be a four grain bourbon, so more of a weeded bourbon, oh, wow, wow. corn, barley, rye, and wheat. When I have bourbon, I know I'm in America then, right? Yep. It's like the land of bourbon. <laughs> that is really gorgeous. When people come here, yes. um, they can do the distillery tours. We actually walk you through the process. Um, and you'll also be able to see what you'll be able to see today as we're making a bourbon uh, coming off the still. So you'll actually be able to see the alcohol being produced. I would love to be able to get this in Ireland as well. Well, we're working on that. I need to give us a little bit more time. But yeah, I might get one or two in the suitcase. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> we'll have to make sure that happens. This place just oozes quality. And I knew that the food was going to be fab. All James. Right. Wow. So, oh my God, this looks so incredible. our flights and bites. First, you have the maple bourbon glazed pork belly. And that's going to go with the bourbon. So it goes hand in hand. And those are just nice big chunks of the pork belly. Nice. And then uh, um, duck confit, crispy duck confit with a polenta cake, uh, cherry gastrique, and that's going to go with the wheat. And then a barbecue smoked beef cheek on cornbread with uh, grapefruit salsa salad, if you will. And that goes with the rye, kind of the, the spiciness of the rye goes with all that. Custard. Amazing. Yeah. These are paired with the whiskies that you distill here as well. Yes, yes. Fantastic. Yeah. Amazing. Such an amazing way to finish my day here in Service Bar in Columbus. I'm blown away by the produce, the food here. Absolutely Michelin star stuff. And these incredible bourbons, it really is the real America. Bait Finn's America. Now for some football, but not American football. Columbus is the home of soccer in America, which the city has wholeheartedly embraced. Well, Ed, here we go. Welcome to Lower.com Field, the heart of American soccer. Here we are. We opened this beautiful stadium in 2021. So now we have two soccer-specific stadiums in Columbus, Ohio. Amazing. And I mean, just name off. Give me a few names of some of the teams that have played here, like recently. I mean, we Chelsea, had... Chelsea, Aston Villa. Correct. Yeah. And we, have Cruz, we had Cruz Azul last year. Monterey just played here. Tigres just played here. Um, it's just been an amazing array of teams that we have, and then we host All Star here. And what do you think, Molly, is the reason that you kind of you, be, you became so big here with soccer? Yeah, I just think that the city of Columbus were looking for something to latch on to. We never had any professional teams either, so when we were charter member number one, everyone just took pride in that, and they really want to make sure that we show up for the team and show up for the community as much as possible. So for Irish fans and for Irish viewers, like this would be something really phenomenal to come and see. Yeah. Be able to, play, to watch soccer here in Columbus, at the heart of soccer in America. I love it. It's amazing. Honestly, there's not a bad seat in the house. You can be at the very top row and have the best vantage point. So really, yeah. they thought about everything when building this stadium. And the way it works here is really cool. So the locker rooms are inside. They are. Um, I mean, you've got the very posh Huntington Club, which is very, <laughs> yeah. I saw the chandelier type thing it's there, beautiful. right? It's yes. gorgeous. The players come out and then some, you get to meet them. Yeah. Yeah, you get to meet them. What's really cool is a tradition that we have is the entire stadium stands on their feet and sings, um, I can't help falling in love with crew uh, <laughs> as the team walks onto the field. So it's oh, really wow. 20,000 people all singing to the team is just an yeah. amazing feeling. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm so like, for me, it's been a bit of a revelation, the MLS Cup. I mean, I didn't know a whole lot about it. I'm very intrigued by it and I'm actually very excited to come back. I mean, what's really cool is if you look right through there, it's kind of my baby. It took me two years to get that painted, but our smokestack, it's a become an icon in the city, but when we win, it blows yellow smoke out of it. Like the election of a pope or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. <laughs> That's amazing, yeah. yellow smoke. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> no, but you know what we did is we had our president and GM and then one of our players for the last paint, the last bit of paint that had to be done, go up on the boom, which is, I think they said 120 feet and sign it and then paint the last piece. So wow. we got everyone okay, involved there. Okay, cool. Yeah. I have to come back to see that yellow smoke. <laughs> yeah, you'll have to. <laughs> there isn't a bad seat in the house. And even in the back row, you're not up in the rafters. 
Our next stop was with the family that has been making sausages for over a century here in Ohio in a neighborhood called German Village. These guys live and breathe their heritage and they even organize Oktoberfest for the neighborhood every year. Ed! Hey! How's it going, Max Matt, Schmidt? Guten Tag! Guten Tag, how are you? <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Welcome to our place. Schmitz, you are famous for sausages. Yes. And the Bahama Mama, yes. uh, I believe is the, is the national food of, uh, of Columbus. Columbus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Uh, it was my great uncle who created this about, I'd say, 60, 50, 60 years ago. Um, and we call it, he called it the Bahama Mama because he came back from a vacation in the Bahamas and the spices reminded him of worry vacation. So we call it the Bahama Mama. So. And then you have, of course, all the fabulous oh. uh, sides. The German yeah. potato oh, salad, that wow. vinegar base, sauerkraut with pork sweet chunks. Slaw. We got our red right. cabbage made with apples. Beautiful. Uh, our sweet slaw and our chunky applesauce. Amazing. And you have a very famous person who comes here as well. We do. Yeah. So uh, we have the big Arnold Expo each year. So Arnold Schwarzenegger loves to come in. The Terminator. The Terminator. <laughs> and guess what? He comes in with a huge entourage. And one year we, we took him up to our private rooms. He didn't like it. He wants to be down with the people. So we always put him in this section. And guess what we call it? We call it the governor's room right up there. So this is my great grandpa, George L. Schmidt. Uh, this was back during the Depression where we uh, handed out pig's feet to all the neighbors when people couldn't afford any food. Yeah, we call those crubines in Cork. Crubines, yeah. I like they're, it. They're a big delicacy. Amazing. Oh my God. Cheapers. Cheers. Prost. Prost. <laughs> wow. Come hungry and come early. The queue snaked out the door. This place is hugely popular and the atmosphere is amazing. Wunderbar. Listen, Matt, that was just fantastic. I love it. I don't have to go to Germany anymore. No. I can just come here. Yeah. Thank Thank you so much for coming. Thanks a million. Absolutely. And listen, as the man said, I'll be back. <laughs> German Village feels like a world away from the rest of America, but it's just beyond downtown Columbus. This is a picture perfect neighborhood with cobbled streets and architecture. Built by German settlers, it dates back to the mid 1800s. If you're looking to shop till you drop, there's a perfect spot on the outskirts of Columbus. This place has everything, shops, dining and entertainment. So I'm here in the very stylish Easton, which is Columbus's premier shopping destination. And you really have every brand here and it makes a great stop before we head off down south to visit Cincinnati. Columbus is buzzing with places to experience. The people welcome you with open arms and their passion is infectious. And so it was on the highway again, this time taking us to the city of Cincinnati in South Ohio on the border of North Kentucky. Greetings from New Jersey. We welcome you. Sky to shore, sun to snow, winning cities to historic towns. Let the games begin. Plan your vacation at visitnj.org/ie.